Oh, okay. Thank you for doing this. No, it's my pleasure. I'm, I'm great to be here. Really. Okay. Tell me your name, please. Leslie. Leslie Key. My name is Leslie. My family name is Key. Okay. Yeah. And your occupation? Photographer, hopefully. Uh -huh. <laughs> if people think I'm a photographer. You're a great photographer. Still questioning myself whether I'm, I'm a real photographer or not. Every well, day. What do you mean by that? Well, because people think I'm a photographer, but mm. I still think that I'm always experimenting with this, you know, this this object, this machine mm. to create possibilities, mm. you know, pictures. Recently, you've done the music video, no? Yeah, I finally done my music video after so many years of uh, what do you call it, consideration. Mm. How was it? Well, great experience, but very tough because I'm so used to. I, I love to communicate with every single person when I shoot. Mm -hmm. From I, I love to communicate with every single person when yeah. I shoot together in a yeah. set. Yeah. But when it comes to music video, there's too many people involved. That is true. I feel that I can only speak to the top, but I wish I had more time mm -hmm. and had the effort to reach down to the people all down there. Mm -hmm. So I've, it's not my cup of tea, frankly speaking. But I still will try to do it, do a few music videos or maybe you know films once in a while. Mm. All right. All right. So let's get back to your life story. Okay. Yeah. Where were you born? Born in Singapore. When? 1971 and 5th of April. Okay. Yeah. What kind of kid were you? Wow, uh, I'm a very quiet guy. It, it's totally different. You cannot imagine I'm so quiet in school. Really? Because I'm born without a father. Uh -huh. My mother is a prostitute. Oh. She had me and mm. not knowing who is my father. Mm. So that's a fact. So mm. I do not know my real father's name. Really? So my mom, that's the reason I, my last name is Key. Oh. So I followed my mom's uh, family name and she brought me and she's still working mm -hmm. uh, you know in a bar and as a prostitute all her life mm. and um, so um, I'm not ashamed of my mom but I, when I go to school I cannot share anybody anything with anybody about my father mm. about my family people mm. ask questions in school oh what do you do during the vacation yeah. uh, where did your mother bring you to I didn't have that kind of childhood I lived with my grandmother all my life mm -hmm. till I was almost 13 13, because yeah. my mother died mm. uh, in August 1984, mm. she was 39. How old were you? I was 13 years old, oh, you're 13. and uh, she also left behind a stepsister, uh -huh. a half sister. Uh -huh. She also have, um, you know, she also gave birth to another, you know, to my sister uh -huh. when I was six years old, and she also. She also ended up as a single mother handling my sister. Uh -huh. So both me and my sister doesn't have father. So always oh, wow. we living with my grandmother all our life. Oh, wow. Till the year, the last year of my mom's when before she died, when mm. I was 13, I went to uh, secondary school. Mm. I worked very hard to try to go to a good school to prove to her that I'm a good son. Because mm. in Singapore, you know, like Southeast Asia, education system is it's close to Japan, but it's even more severe because people mm. think that if you cannot graduate from a, a good school or going to university, you might not have a future. So we follow so-called the Singapore rules or Singapore system mm. by trying to go to good school. Mm. In spite of me not coming from a very good family, I worked very hard to go to a very good school. Mm. Um, actually, one of the top nine schools in Singapore during that time, 1984. Mm. But sad to say that. Five months after I went to that school, my mother passed away. She has cancer. Uh, not, wow. I didn't know that she has cancer for years, but until she went to hospital and she left only about three weeks and she passed away. Wow. I totally remember the moment she passed away on the, you know, in April, uh, in, in August, mm. four months after my, my birthday. Mm. So that is something very interesting is, before she passed away, mm. she, gave, she wanted to give me a present. to ask me what do you want, you know? Yeah, you went to a good school. You are, mm. you are 13 years old, you go to secondary school. I said, I want a camera. Mm. And she asked, why do you want a camera? I said, because when I was all my life, till age 12 years old, I didn't have, a good, I didn't have any photos in, you know, to show to people. Mm. Like when you go to school, people exchange family photos, yeah. people exchange holiday photos or things like that. Yeah. I didn't have photos with my mom or my grandma, things like that. And I tell them I want a camera to photograph my sister. Mm. So that my sister will have a childhood of, of photos to remember. Mm. I do not have a lot of childhood photos, but at least I want to give to my sister. And she bought me a camera. That mm. is also, I feel that it's kind of fate that my yeah. mom gave me the biggest 
most expensive present yeah. all her, uh, in my life. Mm. You know, to buy, to ask mom to buy a camera during those days is pretty expensive, right? Yeah, of course. But you know, I, I just I just wanted the camera so badly. I don't know why. Mm. And not that I'm influenced by any photographer or whatever. I just want my sister to have photographs mm. so that when she get older, she can yeah. recall that she used to have those days with her friends mm -hmm. or, or you know, or with the neighbors. So basically, you don't have a photograph of your own. You no, know, I only have about two or three photographs of really? myself, my mom, and my grandma. And I have one. I have one photo that once in a while I use it for when people ask me to, um, you know, to, to for interviews. A photograph of me with my birthday cake when I think I was four or five. Mm. And primary school, we call it primary school, elementary school. Yeah. Almost no photos of myself. Really? Yeah. Mm. So. Photography is something that I wanted. Photo is something I wanted all my life because I know it, br it can bring good memories. Interesting. Yeah. All right. You know, um, here in your life, it's just you know, for people like you know Japanese people or any Western world people, it just seems really dramatic. It just seems so different, mm. right? Yeah. I'm sure every people become very shocked. Yeah. For, for hearing that, what do you, what do you say to those people? Yeah, life. I always believe that life is so many possibilities. Mm. I'm always. I love history. Mm. When I was in school, I'm very bad with mathematics, geography, even science or biography. But my history, I was pretty good with history. Oh yeah. Because I don't know, history always give me. When I read history, I'm always very impressed by why wow, there's so many great people who can mm. make the airplane, or they can mm. create a country, or they can you know do all these possibilities. And it's only done by one person. Mm. So I always believe that one person has a strong power if they believe in what they believe in, mm. the willpower. Like I say, I suggest I, as I mentioned, like Gandhi and things like that. You know, they 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 made they as one man who born in a country without much things, without much background, but they prove that they become somebody. Yeah. So I always read those history and I think they inspired me a lot. Mm. They tell me that there's always a possibility in anybody. That's anybody true. stands the same chance in the same place if they're willing to keep on believing what they want for life. Mm -hmm. So what I said that when I came to this country, Singapore, um, Japan, when I was 23, not having, you know, not having any connections, not having money, mm. not knowing anybody, but I, I wanted to come to this country, Japan, mm. for such a long time. Mm.